All right. All right. So I'm actually not that interested in robots. I'm more interested in, in people. And uh, uh, for, for the past few years, I've been living in New York City, which I find personally to be sometimes a very overwhelming place. It's full of crowds and traffic and noise and garbage and ads and homeless people and uh, your occasional guy with a clipboard. And uh, about a year ago, I was thinking about all of this and thinking about how um, this kind of barrage of, of things makes the space really difficult um, to have meaningful uh, moments of uh, interaction and serendipity in the city. And so, and, well, and I feel that these things are actually really important because serendipity and uh, engagement are really kind of what separates us from robots. So I started thinking about ways that I could um, change the way people experience the city on a very small scale and provoke them to engage with the space in, in a different way. Um, and so I kind of had this idea. Oh. I kind of had this idea, and um, the idea kind of struck me as crazy when it first occurred to me. But what it was to was to create um, small, human-dependent robots that I would basically put out on the street or on the sidewalk, and they would be dependent on strangers to navigate the city. And I had no idea if this would work at all, but I uh, called them tween bots because if it did work, they would not only be navigating the space, going between one place and another, but they would be not robots necessarily. They would be between humans and robots. They would be um, between reality and imagination. So I built one, and this is what he looks like. This is Sam. <laughs> He's the original tween bot, and he, I mean, as you can tell, is pretty simple. Uh, basically, what he does is he rolls at a constant speed in a straight line, and he is equipped really only with cuteness and a flag that says, help me, I'm trying to get to this place in the city, aim me in the right direction. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit of video. I've been doing this for a year now, but um, I'm going to show you some video that I shot of Sam in Washington Square Park uh, a couple months ago. And before I show you the video, I wanted to explain two things. One is that, um, I, I kind of put Sam out in the city and, and ran away, um, and that was in the northeast corner of Washington Square Park, and he was trying to get to the southwest corner, so his flag asked people to help him do that. And um, I guess it would be like this for you guys, but uh, uh, the other thing is that I, I record what, what happens, basically, and I do this not I, I first started doing this uh, with a hidden camera, but I quickly learned that New Yorkers very rarely suspect that they're being watched. And so, <laughs> so I stopped hiding the camera, and I just kind of hold it in unobtrusive ways. And so the people that you're about to see did not actually know um, that they were being recorded. I love this guy. He followed him, literally, kind of trailing for about 30 seconds before he like looked around and, and decided to help him. And sent him on his way. And, <laughs> um, and the day that I did this was actually really, really hot in New York. And uh, Sam has these little tire treads that are on his tires, and they got so hot that the rubber stretched and came off. And these guys that I, I don't believe knew each other at all saw Sam and figured out that he was going in circles because he was missing the tread. And so they stood there and were thinking, like, how can we help this? And uh, <laughs> talked about it for some time, as you can see. And then this guy made this, this discovery that the tread was actually right there. And so they picked him up, uh, <laughs> put the, the tire back in order, um, and sent him on his way.
And, and one of the things that I've really found so amazing about this is you never really know how deep like, the level of engagement will go. Sometimes the, you know, people will just, oh, help. And then others are like, what is this? Um, this girl was amazing. So she was actually talking to herself, trying to figure out how, and you're gonna see, she triangulates. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, She's so concerned with precision that this has to happen, like, finally, she lets him go. And these guys were, I guess, street performers. And Okay, so those are the tween bots. And when I first started this, I, I basically had no expectation and no idea that a cardboard robot in the streets of New York City would provoke such um, a poignant human response. I think that out of all of the hundreds of interactions I've seen doing this, um, my favorite one happened this one day when Sam was almost like right near his destination and this man came up got him and turned him back in the direction that he'd just come from. And he looked down at Sam and he said, you can't go that way, it's toward the road. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and really it's New Yorkers that bring the tween bots to life and they've helped me tell this story about humanity and uh, empathy and kindness in the city. Uh, thank you for your time and thank you, New York. <laughs>